Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. This is part two of my message box options video. So if you haven't watched part one yet, what are you doing? Go watch it. You'll find a link down below. Go watch that first, then come on back. All right, here we go. We're already in progress. Uh, message box right to left reading, and that does make the text go right to left. It doesn't reverse the order of the characters, but it will put the question mark on the end for a question button, and it reverses the order of the buttons. Right, you'll still have to have, make sure that your language is, is right to left on your own, but you can set that option for the message box if you want to. Title is the next option, right? The next parameter down here, pretty straightforward. You put a title right there and it won't say Microsoft Access. So many people are worried about making their application so it doesn't look like Microsoft Access, right? They wanna distribute something that's not, you know, the people don't, because everyone has a bad idea of Access. I don't know why I love Access. But if one of the things you want to do is hide your application so it doesn't appear to be access, or you want to just give more information about what's going on, put it in the title. All right, the message box return values. Again, we talked about this in the last message box video, but here are all the return values and they correspond to the different buttons, right? Yes is a reply, ignore is a reply. If you're using an ignore button, right? Okay, here they are. Here are the values. Again, you don't need to use the actual values. You can if you want to. Right, but you can just use VB okay, VB cancel, VB abort, and so on. Right, take your response value, check to see what it is, and then respond accordingly. I would get off your ship, but he seized my vessel. Seized my vessel, seized my vessel. All right, so knowing all this, let's run through an example database, right? We're gonna build a computer self-destruct button, which you can use this for like, you know, are you gonna run a delete query, that kind of stuff. It doesn't have to be, yeah, I don't expect you to self-destruct your computer, but we'll do two message boxes in line, right? First, you wanna activate the self-destruct button. We're gonna make the default button cancel. We'll make it a question. And if they say yes to this, then we'll go, are you sure with a critical, seriously activate the self-destruct? And then if they say yes to that, then it'll perform the action. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay, so here I am in my tech help free template. This is a free database you can download off my website if you want to. And down here, I got a hello world button that right now it just uses my status function to put the words hello in this text box. Let's change this to a message box. So I'm gonna right click build event. It's gonna bring up my VBA editor right over here. And just like I showed you in the other video, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna say if message box activate self-destruct question mark right then comma here's where you put your buttons in so i want vb yes no cancel i'm gonna go down arrow tab and then plus now i could pick my vb default button three which is right there and then tab so you can click on it with the mouse or you can use the keyboard whatever you want all right now i also want to make it a question so plus vbq vb question tab right comma my title and then what did i put go boom <laughs> and then close it up now you can either take that and put it in a variable if you want to do more stuff with it or i just put it right in the if statement myself that's an option and now i can say if that is anything other than right greater than less than two is not equal to if it's anything other than vbs then exit sub Okay, and that's a pretty long line. So I'm gonna break it right here. Okay. And now they can still get into trouble, right? Because they're gonna blow the whole thing up. The whole ship's gonna go kablooey. So we're gonna ask them a second time. Now I'm gonna just copy this one. Copy, all right? Control C, Control V. We'll ask them again, all right? Seriously, dude, all right, seriously? Activate self-destruct, all right? VBS no cancel, default button three. This time we're gonna go VB critical though. So I'm gonna backspace over that, hit the plus again, and then come down to VB critical, all right? And then over here you can put like in the title, are you sure, all right? And again, if they say yes to that, it will continue. Otherwise it'll exit out of the subroutine. And if they get this far, it's gonna go boom. So we'll just go status, boom, okay? Save it. Always helpful to throw in a debug compile. Come back over here. Let's close the main menu, reopen it. And that, yeah, I got code that moves my window. Don't worry about that. Let's slide it back up here. All right. 
Hello world, activate self-destruct. Now notice default button three is active. So if I accidentally hit the space bar, it goes away, which is desired. All right, but if I come in here and say yes, it's gonna, oh, did you hear that? It went, blah, 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 blah. I gave you a little warning, right? Seriously, activate self-destruct. All right, cancel. Let's do it again. Say yes to both times. Yes, yes, and it went boom. Okay, that's that. If you like learning this stuff, if you like learning with me, if you want to learn more VBA, check out my developer lessons on my website. I got lots of them and I cover lots of different ways to use MessageBox. There's the link right there. I'll put another link down below. Check it out. And don't forget to check out my Access Developer Level 11 and 12 classes if you want to learn how to build that universal dialog box and a lot more cool stuff too. So that'll do it. That's going to be your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. 
Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.